we will now discuss how to install the drivers for USB on the MA2000 printer. Plug one end of the USB cable into the Windows computer and the other end into the MA2000 printer. The control panel for the printer is located on top of the machine. Push the main power switch. The display screen should have a zero, one, appear. Go to your computer and type in https colon forward slash forward slash kiosera.info. Press enter. You'll be taken to the Kiosera Download Center. Click on the country the machine is located in. In our example, it's the USA. Now type in MA2000 in the window on the screen. Find the MA2000W in our example and click on it. Click on the blue arrow beside the operating system listed. Then click on the actual operating system. In our example, it is Windows 10 64-bit, but use the latest one available. Next, click on the blue down arrow beside the Select a Language window. Scroll down and click on the blue down arrow under Easy Installation. The license agreement will be presented. Scroll down and click on the blue box, which agrees to the license terms. Now find the webinstaller.exe file and double-click that file. The web installer will begin. You will be asked if you want this app to make changes to your device. Click on Yes. Another license agreement page will appear. Scroll through the agreement and click on Accept. A resource and energy saving page will appear. Scroll through the page and click on OK. The web installer page will present three files the install file, the uninstall file, and the maintenance file. Click on the install file. Your computer will now search your network for your new printer. This may take a few minutes. Look for the MA2000W icon entry and click to highlight. Click Next. In a few seconds, you'll be presented with the select components to install. Make sure all options are selected. The GX driver is the printer driver for this machine. The Twain driver will scan from Twain supported application. Fonts add additional printable characters not included in Windows. The Kyocera client tool is used for scanning and should be checked for immediate installation. The Net Viewer is optional. It provides real time printer status pop ups on your computer screen. Select Install on the bottom right of the screen. All components will download and install. Please be patient as, depending on the internet speeds, this process may take several minutes to complete. Do not stop the download or close the window. Upon installation, you should see all components listed as installed and the Next button highlighted in blue. Click Next. You should see Configure Your Printer. Each component listed is an active link, so you can, for example, print a test page to ensure the driver is working. The Print Test Page will not print until the installation wizard is complete. Also, you can set your computer to use your Kyocera printer as your default printer. Next, select Open Client Tool to configure the scan feature. You should now see the Kyocera Client Tool window. On the top left side, you should see your new printer, Kyocera MA2000GX. If not, select it from the down arrow. Select Scan. You should see Preferences and Quick Scan Settings. First click on Preferences. Here you can set default settings for scanning. We recommend you set the original document size to Letter. Also select whether you'll be scanning in color or black and white. You can also set Resolution. For high resolution documents such as line drawings and detailed pictures, select 600 by 600. If you are routinely scanning documents such as letters and statements, 300 by 300 is recommended. The Sharpen pull-down will bring out faint features in certain documents. Select Higher Settings if you're using faded, gray, or poorly defined originals. Otherwise, leave it at the default, Low. Original image are presets for different document types. If you think you'll be using mixed documents with text and photo, leave this as Text and Photo. Select Text if your documents are mostly text and Photo if you're mostly scanning photos. If unsure, just leave the setting as is. You can always change this setting anytime you wish to scan. Density will increase scanning decision making in the software. The higher the density, the more likely the scanner will find and scan small details, including imperfections in the original. The lower the density, 
the less likely imperfections will be scanned. Finally, reverse image is a mirror image of the scanned document. Remember, printed characters will appear in reverse when using this feature. Click OK once you're happy with your settings. Highlight and click on Quick Scan Settings in the Kyocera Client tool. The Quick Scan Settings will appear. Select an Output and Format. Click Apply and then OK. Open the cover. Place your document face down on the scanner to edge placed in the corner. Close the cover. You're now ready to scan. Select from PDF, Email, or Folder. In our example, we're selecting PDF. Name the PDF file. We are calling ours My First Scan, and note where you're saving the file. You can change this to whatever folder or directory you like. In our example, we are saving to Documents. Press Save. A progress bar will appear showing your scan in progress. Upon completion, your scanned document will appear in your browser. Remember, you cannot do anything in the browser except inspect the scanned results. The document itself is available in the folder you are scanning to. You may now close the Kyocera Client tool. Close the web installer by clicking on Finish and then the X or Close icon on the top right of the web installer splash page. To open the Kyocera Client tool to scan in the future, click on the Start Windows icon on the lower left and select the Kyocera Client Tool or type Kyocera in the search window to locate the tool. You have now successfully installed the Client Tool to use the scanner function. If you wish to print, select an electronic document you wish to print from inside the program such as Word or Excel. Select Print and then select your new printer from the pull-down. From there, you can choose which properties you wish to use for your print job. Consult your user guide for additional information on specific features. Press Print. Your printer will warm up and print the requested document. Consult your user guide for additional information on using your new printer for printing and scanning. If you have a Mac computer, plug the USB cable into it. Plug the other end into the MA2000. The control panel for the printer is located on top of the machine. Press the main power switch. The display screen should have a 01. Go to your computer and type in https colon forward slash forward slash kiosera.info. Press enter. You will be taken to the Kyocera Download Center. Click on the country the machine is located in. In our example, it's the USA. Now type in MA2000 in the window on the screen. Find the MA2000W in our example and click it. Click on the blue arrow beside the operating system listed. Find the Mac OS X 10.9 or later listing and click it. Next, click on the blue down arrow beside the Select a Language window. Scroll down and click on the blue down arrow by the Mac driver file. The license agreement will appear. Scroll down and click on the blue box accepting the agreement. Now find this file, OS X 10.5 or higher, .dmg and double-click on that file. The Kyocera Macintosh installer page will appear. Click on Continue. Click on Continue again. Click on Continue one more time. The license agreement will appear. Click on Agree and click on Install. When the installation is complete, the green check mark will appear. Click on Close. Go to System Preferences. Click on Printers and Scanners. Click on the Plus button. Kyocera MA2000 will appear. Click it and then click on Add to add the printer. The Kyocera MA2000 will now show under Printers. You have now installed the Mac driver for the MA2000 printer.